Hello viewers, thanks for watching our videos and in this module we are going to discuss give any 5 examples of line segment observed in your classroom. So examples that are given edge of blackboard. So actually, so here in this we will give some more examples. So what is that is? So first one they are given edge of blackboard. So for that blackboard actually it will have some edges. So this one is called edge. So next example will give the edge of desk or table. Edge of desk or table you can take. Next one you can take it as. So what they are asked is metal rod or length of length of metal rod metal rod in window next one what you can take again is edge of book so edge of textbook or notebook next one so what you can take it as corner of walls so in that corner also will have and length of pencil length of pencil or pen anything like that you can take our next question is why it is better to use divider than a ruler while comparing two line segments so let's take two line segments a b and x y so actually in that a b if you take one scale ruler is nothing but scale or you can take scale also so if you take any one scale like this so what you will be having is so here actually if you see from top if you see from top you will get one value maybe like this if you see from this side if you see from this side maybe you will see like this if you see from this side other side you will maybe you will see in this way so ruler means the uh, saying on which direction based on that your value may change so ruler will not give exact location or or length at any place at any place or rural will not give anything then if you take divider so let's take divider will be like this so like this divider so if you take divider it will stop here it will start there and it will stop here maybe it will going to change so it will give exact measurement so it will give exact exact measurements it will give exact measurements so that is the case thanks for watching please subscribe hello viewers thanks for watching our videos so here in this module we are going to discuss measure all line segments in the figure given below and arrange them in ascending order of their lengths. So actually ascending order means from lowest to highest, lowest value to highest value. So what is that is from lowest value to highest value. So actually here in this which one is smallest here so first one bc is smaller so bc is smaller and cd is again then ab then de these are the smaller values so let's take our first one ascending order ascending order is so first one is BC next so first one is BC then comma BC CD then 
CD after actually we will get AB then AB after we will get DE so what is our next one is after DE if you combinedly call it as BD so from B to D is smaller again B D BD after this after BD what you'll get AC so from A to C then after AC then what you'll get here is CE from 3 C to E so CE then after that what you'll get AD from A to D you will get from A to D then after that what you'll write here is B E so from B to E then finally what you can say A E so how we took here is so here actually so let's take B C is smaller than C D is smaller than A B than B E then two smallers were added then we'll get B D so two smallers are added B D then one small again A D we will get so A D then A C two smallers again one and smaller than then one smaller than two so here A C then C E so C to E then again A D so from A to D then B to E then A to E like that we are at it thanks for watching please subscribe hello viewers thanks for watching our videos if not to subscribe please subscribe so midpoint of a b is located by Sweta and reshma like this so actually there this one is a b then they are located c he is here so by Sweta. then this point a a B so here midpoint C located by Reshma so here which one which one do you feel correct measure so actually this C is near to A and this is somewhat far from B A C is here equal distance at A and B so I think here Reshma is correct length of ACBC very fat so here this are all if you measure means this are all will get equal distances so Reshma Reshma located located correctly our next one next one is so each of these figures given along the side has many line segments for the for the Alamara, we have shown one line segment along the longer edge. Identify and mark all such line segments in these figures. So actually for this Alamara, so we will have line segment this one. Next this is also line segment and this is also one line segment and this is also one line segment. Here also line segment, here also line segment then here also line segments so so many line segments are there for different figures so for this line segments is here here then here tops and downs also so how many line segments are there continuously so many line segments so for this this is one line segment and this is another line segment this is this one and here so here so many line segments are existed for this here also down also line segments existed thanks for watching please subscribe